Either way, let's watch Elden Ring's most so many used mechanics are a trap. Uh, and afterwards we shall play Elden Ring. Digimon is better than Pokemon, I agree. Next, most people don't engage with because the game really doesn't do a good job at explaining them. But trust me, using just one of these can make your journey so much more enjoyable and way less painful. Rolling is bad. No! We learned that jumping is useful more than two years but ago rolling! when I made a video on it. So recently, my curiosity got the best of me, making me test every single attack in the game. I like rolling more. God, to see which ones can be jumped over, and as cliche as it every might sound, single one? you would believe some of these. Okay, hand. What? But why would you want to jump instead of rolling anyways? Rolling has immunity frames and jumping doesn't, after all. Let's take exactly. Tree Sentinel as an example. Most of us have fought Tree Sentinel and yes. felt like the second phase attacks are just a little unfair. He jumps yep. and slams into the ground, which creates a shockwave, so you need to dodge two hitboxes in total if you want to roll into it up close. You need to roll late enough to iframe the shield and still yeah. have iframes left for the shockwave, which is brutal, you don't have that many iframes. But if you jump, you don't get hit. Even better, it gives you the opportunity for the fan favorite jumping heavy attack, which does a ton of health damage and stance damage. And jumping also consumes less stamina than rolling. When you jump, your this lower body becomes immune to damage. No, that no, the no, stop this rolling slander! This is rolling slander! Legs and even part of the stomach, but not the hands hanging off to the side. The immunity starts pretty much immediately, even when you're still visually on the ground and lasts 60 frames, which is a whole second compared to 26 frames on a roll. It starts faster, it lasts longer, which means you can dodge some attacks way too early or extremely late and still get away with it. Oh there are my a ton God. of attacks that you can jump on, some more useful than others, but the rule of thumb is that if the attack hits low to the ground, you can probably jump over it. <gasps> Not every attack is worth it though, so here are some examples of actually useful... This is a rolling household, exactly! Pretty much every AoE, which includes Radagon, Godric, Radan, <gasps> Meliketh, no! Godfrey, yeah. Fortis X, Speedrun Meow, <laughs> Dragonkin, Watchdog, and Tree Sentinel. That you can do is this really cool dodge on Margaret man. where you jump over his hammer when he goes into phase 2 and then what? walk behind him and jump the AoE. A majority of Godric's no, attacks can be jumped. Stop it. Shocker there. Stop. You, you can jump, jump over Elden Beasts and Rykard Sword Swings and even the Frost Attacks, although those are really hard to do. You can dodge Millennia's Grab and Frost Attack by jumping to the side. Margit and Morgoth's Tail Swipes are really easy to jump. Godskin Noble's Ground Slam is usually very annoying to time, but can easily be jumped. Oh, Grave Warden allows for some very flashy jumps because of how weird his hitboxes are. Red Wolf's Second Swing and Spin Attacks can be jumped, which is cool. The Malekith Dodge is just too fun to not do. No. No! Stop! You just Crucible flexed it! Crucible Knights have a lot of attacks that can be dodged. <gasps> Fuck! No! 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 My favorite is this one. No! There are two attacks that can what? be jumped on Black Knives. And there are a lot of attacks you can jump away from rather than over, like these. JUMP AWAY FROM! Keep an eye out for attacks that you can jump over in the DLC. The previews made it seem like jumping will be a big part as well. And pro tip, if you jump in quick succession, the follow-up jumps will be tiny little baby jumps, but if you guard while jumping, you can prevent that from happening. What? Trust me, nothing feels as good as guard jumping up a slope. You are so fast. No. Strafing no. is another alternative no. to rolling that you should always consider. No. If an enemy does a slow overhead or a thrusting attack, you can usually sprint or walk to the side and avoid it, which consumes next to no stamina and doesn't lock you in any sort of animation, this, meaning you have no, a larger no, window to punish. Listen to it him, also chat. looks badass. No. I mean, look at this, dude. The only problem is that some of the best strafes require being locked off instead of looking at the boss. Locking on in general is a clever little trap FromSoft baits everyone into using camp trials. But While you are locked on. on, you can only move based on the boss's position. To be fair, some of the bosses, for example, fucking dragons, man, are, are just better to be fought uh, without locking on. But a lot of locks makes things easier. Like, <laughs> chat, yes, you have to roll. Don't listen to him. Jumping, jumping is heresy. This, this, this is, this is blasphemous. Like, don't, don't, don't listen. Holding left while locked on. Jumping is absolutely hard round. Yes. Bus. And while locked off, you can freely walk to the left. No jumping allowed. You see allowed. how severely that limits your movement? This is why locking off is genuinely a chat move. 
In some cases, it even breaks bosses Could completely. Could you just tank everything? And yeah, sure. Locking off and That's attacking with the tip of your blade made it so that enemies couldn't parry you, which kind of defeats the purpose of the whole game. I won't go too much into detail since it's pretty advanced, but there are some easy attacks anyone can use it on, like Melania's flower attack. Just lock off, walk around her, take a little jog, and she will miss you, which... My god, <laughs> it looks so stupid. If there's one thing you can take away from this, is no! that you shouldn't be locked on if a boss is above you. It, it's just going to give you a headache yeah, and even yeah, limit yeah, you from exactly. going right under the boss. Which one of these do you think will do more damage? An unupgraded holy mace or a plus 13 broadsword? This is obviously just an extreme example, but knowing the what? enemy's weaknesses can easily add a little bit of extra what? damage, which adds up quickly. In the case of those who live in death, aka the undead enemies. An unupgraded mace with sacred blade is literally all you need for the entire game. Combine it with last right and you can't even tell the mace has not been upgraded once. Bonus what? points for sacred because it makes it so that skeletons die for good. I highly recommend having one of these with you. Upgrade it as high as possible but don't stress it, I mean plus 10 is probably more than enough but you can also get it higher obviously. And bring golden epitaph for anything undead, you really won't regret it. A rule of thumb is that when fighting flesh, you want to use- Meanwhile, me, I will still just use my one weapon. Nah! Like, you can't- <laughs> Like, I'm listening to all of this, but you know for a fact I will still be rolling. <laughs> I will still be rolling! Bro, literally destroying every different build right now. He is! Bro, bro, nah, nah, don't- don't break this thing down. Slash Don't write it down, chat. When fighting light armor, you want to use piercing and lightning. And when fighting heavy armor, you want to use blunt and, well, lightning. You yeah, but like, who remembers all that shit? Like, <laughs> like let me just, let me just use my scythes. That, that's all. I don't care if a fucking hammer's gonna deal more damage to the enemy because he bow wears fucking armor and that's more effective because bludgeoning and whatnot. I don't care! I'll use my scythe anyway! Like, I'll use whatever is the most fun for me! Kids are playing unoptimally mad respect. <laughs> yes! Yes! And I don't care! Leave me be! I don't need your advice that, oh, but this does like 10% extra- I don't care! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You can't go wrong with the lightning. Anything dead or spectral is weak to holy, Basically, nothing is weak to magic, other than maybe imps. And all of the status effects are obviously really Let good. Let me roll, For the worst exactly! case scenarios, like Elden Beast, where there really is no weakness at all, just use God Slayer Flame. It deals percentage damage, so even a plus zero dagger can do thousands of damage to NG plus Elden Beast. Pretty cool. But not just elemental damage matters. Special weaknesses are just as important. So here are some examples. Fasten your seat belts, boys. You oh are God. about to be mind blown. Oh God. Death birds are extremely vulnerable to holy pots. Watchdogs go mad if hit. Did he just one shot the bitch? Did he just one shot that stupid pecker? You are about to be mind blown. Death birds are extremely vulnerable to holy pots. Watchdogs go mad if hit Fuck by off. enough crystal darts, which can make the double watchdog fight a walk in the park. You can bait this combo and jump over the third swing every time. Or no. parry it for an easy kill. Big fl I suck at parrying. <laughs> I suck at parrying so hard. Oh my god, you you guys won't believe how bad I am at parrying. Flowers start wailing when hit with fire jump, and can no! be slapped pretty easily. Birds fall over when hit with gravity spells. Land octopus can have their arms cut off one by one to make them squirm harmlessly. Land squirts explode when hit with poison. Trolls okay. stun if shot in the face and start wait, covering the face afterwards. Flame chariots wait, can be executed Sekiro Wait, style. that's so sick actually though. Like the attention to detail they've done with the game. Like all of these past little things, that is insane. Or period for an easy kill. Big flowers start wailing when hit with fire and can be slapped pretty easily. Birds fall over when hit with gravity spells. Like, it just makes sense that I, that I would do that, but that the game developers actually had to put it into work. Like, I love from soft. I love from Land soft. Land octopus can have their arms cut off one by one to make them squirm harmlessly. Land squirts explode <laughs> when hit with though. poison. Trolls that stun if shot in the face and st That is... That is insane. Start covering the face afterwards. Like, Flame chariots can wow. be executed Sekiro style from above. Ew. Everyone knows that healing spells kill revenants. Pumpkin heads wait, can be wait, 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 what, what do you mean everyone knows? Executed what? Sekiro style from above. Everyone knows that healing spells kill revenants. What do you mean everyone knows? Who who's this everyone we're speaking of? Is is this everyone in the room with us right now? Who who's this everyone? Who is this everyone? 
Pumpkin heads can be put to sleep to avoid having to deal with the helmet mechanic altogether. And you can also parry the fist attack, but not the weapon I attacks. I have no idea why, but it feels really cool to do. These guys are weak to lightning in a very weird way, where they will always stagger after five hits of lightning, no matter the source. Glintstone blades kill the invisible scarabs for you. Yo! It is, yes, it is logical, but it's still like... You know? Giant lobsters are also weak to sleep. Finger oh. creepers become incapacitated by fire. Barricade shield makes the misbegotten look very pathetic. And it's honestly a really good Ash of War in general for anything oh. if you got counter. Falling oh. star beasts and Astel take a lot of extra damage from gravity weapons and equipment. The that one I knew! Stormblade Ash of War goes really hard for imps and birds in early game. I okay, might have sick. even for- Holy mother of buffs. <laughs> How? Chat, how do you. How do you even get so many buffs? It's just rethinking her life right now. Oh, <laughs> so thankful. <laughs> Actually, man, what, what is this? It goes without saying that the same applies to you, though. Who do you think is tankier? Armor Boy or Naked Man? Let's imagine that oh, Godric no. is Mesmer for a second. I know this is very insulting to Mesmer, but whatever. Without any equipment, his fire breath hits pretty hard. With one of the best armor sets in the game, it doesn't do nearly as much. But in comparison to wearing no armor and using the right buffs, it's it's insane. It basically just tickles me. And all I used was flame resistant talismans and a But why don't you just put the armor on, on top of that? Just put like what? Like why are we comparing those two? Like, what? Like, you can have the armor anyway. The armor slows you down real bad. Okay, but but hear me out. The armor doesn't affect what kind of fucking talisman you have. He just said that to make a point. The point is stupid. He doesn't have a point because it's the talisman. This is just the main. Like, obviously, the fire resistance talisman is gonna reduce your damage. That you, like, reduce the damage and take from fire. Like, what? Nah, nah, nah. That, that was a stupid point. Ammo affects time of your rolls. But yes, but the rolls aren't the point right here. This is, this is not the point he's making. This isn't the point! The point is- yeah, Chat? 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 Saying Listen. that the same applies to you, though. Who do you think is tankier? Armor Boy or Naked Man? Armor Boy is still gonna be tankier! Just put the talisman on top of that! Nah, 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 this is stupid. This, this, no, no, I will not take this. Let's imagine that Godric is Mesmer for a second. I know this is very insulting to Mesmer, but whatever. Without any equipment, his fire breath hits pretty hard. With one of the best armor sets in the game, it doesn't do nearly as much. But in comparison to wearing no armor and using the right buffs, it's, it's insane. It basically just tickles me. And yeah, all okay. I used was flame resistant talismans and a flame liver. I can still like Mesmer will do a lot of fire the armor damage. Just on top of that. Generally, I would always have two defense talismans. The dragon crest is pretty much always useful because there's a lot of physical damage in the entire game. And the second slot is whatever element you're up against. Then at 60 vigor, I recommend the crimson sea talisman, but that's mostly personal preference. And the fourth slot is for damage. Trust me when I say, after seeing the previous stuff, that this is not over preparing. <laughs> Shit hits hard. Stealth is criminally underrated. I made a whole video on it, but to summarize the most important message, use Assassin's Gambit. This I was talking uh, with Exagon about stealth today. He was like, when's the last time you've seen anyone ever stealth in game? And I was like, well, I did. Yeah, okay, but apart from you, <laughs> like, no one doesn't. Like, do you guys still use stealth in Elden Ring? I said, you guys saw me do it. Like, I literally did... Like, sneak around the fucking guy. <laughs> so, yeah. This Ash of War is beyond broken. You give up a tiny bit of health for a 30 second buff that entirely mutes your footsteps and makes you nearly invisible. Similar Wait, what? To anxiety. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Um. 
Not only can you skip groups of enemies if they're too tough or start a fight with a heavy attack to the back of someone's head, also similar to social anxiety, but you can also straight up cheese some bosses and make them look like they're from Dark Souls 2. For example, if you use it before going into the Crucible Duo Arena and quickly throw a sleep pot high to the back right, then crouch sprint along the left wall, you can fight one of them at a time. I know this is kind of complicated, but it's absolutely worth it. Or for Godskin Duo, just use it before reaching the middle of the arena and then walk forward to toss two sleeping pots between them. Just look at these idiots. It's also nice oh, to yeah, sneak behind this dickhead for two charge heavy them. attacks before the fight even starts. Or, my oh. favorite, it's possible to cheese Ofni by following the setup one for one. He deserves Wait, it. Please do it. Wait, what? And all you have to do is Volcano Mana's first hunting quest, and then Banal will sell the Asher for. Get it as early as possible and put it on Arabia. Or if he's dead, just go to his sword in Volcano Manor. I bet you didn't know that because I didn't. Crafting I did. is actually so pork and people are missing out on it. Every consumable has a distinct use. Pots can do some crazy damage and offer a ton of vitality, like cancelling Melania out of the waterfall or cheesing her second Wait. face. Delete this. Delete this video. Delete this video out of YouTube. No, 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 no. You did no, no, no. Crazy damage and offer a ton of vitality, no. like canceling Millennia out of the waterfall or choosing no. her second face. You can throw no. around status effects and finish enemies or bosses from a safe distance. The bubble perfumes are extremely strong, allowing you to survive any attack, no matter how strong or how much damage it deals, up to 10 times a fight. The Spark Aromatic does excellent damage at low stats, and the Poison Mon procs the okay. strongest version of poison in the entire game. Throwing knives can be used to bait out a single enemy at a time, or in combination with Assassin's Gambit, wow. to bait enemies away from somewhere or near a cliff, but they can what? also be used to ping the enemies or bosses every so often, and reset the posture bar to keep it from going back up. And the boluses and livers are just amazing for survival. Guard counters are a mechanic I didn't use for hundreds of hours, but it's so fun to do and will be even better on the DLC. If you can use torrent in a boss fight, then do it. You, you can use torrent in here? There's no way you can... No! No! What do you mean you can use torrent in that room? What? 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 No, 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 no way, no way, right? There's no way. I know that, I know that they added Torrent to the Elden Beast now. Which, I, I defeated the Elden Beast without him, just saying. I, I fought him, I didn't bitch about the Elden Beast, I actually enjoyed that fight. Can I laugh at you? No! That video broke the fox skull. Yeah, I, this. What do you mean? You. <sighs> Chances are the fight is designed around it. As much as I like badass one on ones on the ground, horseback fighting a dragon has become just as fun. Really, the lesson to learn from me being hesitant to use some of these mechanics for hundreds of hours is to just use everything, even spirit ashes if you feel like it. Just have fun. There's no yeah, shame in any of it. That, that some of the true. best just ashes of war are severely underrated, and. I. I'm half on the fence of, but you gotta use the big sword and do it the hard way. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't get the same enjoyment. I'm halfway on that, but I'm also just to whatever it's fun of uh, to you, you know. I'm like, it's just, so I'm, I'm like, on, I, am, I, I see both sides. I can see both sides. <laughs> if the game gives you resources, use them. Yes, yes, yes. Big salt for the win. Yeah! Big mine! It's kids bipolar. <laughs> I am so bipolar about this, huh? <laughs> speedruns will question your whole time spent on the game. I I've seen speedruns. Those are insane. We absolutely need to be using them for the DLC. Vow of the Indomitable gives you a whole second of complete invulnerability. Wait, and what? can be used for attacks like Godfrey's Shockwave Wait, or Rekord's Earthquake. And with good enough timing, you can even negate Waterfall. Stormblade Fuck is one off. of the best ashes of war early on and costs little to no FP. 
Phalanxes do incredible posture damage and can be used without even attacking to stagger a dragon in three casts and then do actual damage. And Flaming Strike is extremely good and you really should be using it. The Lance Ashes of War are also really good for hitting dragon heads. All of the mechanics oh. I talked about in this game combined allow you to do something like this. If you understand everything I'm doing here, then you're ready for the DLC. Lastly, I guess and this ready. might be a tiny bit of spoilers, but not really, make sure to explore first if the DLC is giving you a lot of trouble. Or probably in general, even if it well, isn't. Yeah, that's what Find I'm blessings doing and increase your defenses to that significantly help doing. with the ridiculous amount of damage everything will do. And bring a lantern. It's dark in the shadows. Hello! Uh, Jesus, man. There are so many mechanics I'm, most people... I'm... The goon room, yeah, that's where we left off. We left off in the ro do goon room, doon goon room, yeah. Jesus. I'm... Rethinking my entire... Um... From soft... Uh, uh, area life thing choices, you know what I mean? Now you know a lot more, yes? And will I use any of this? No. I will keep using my scythe and my wolfy boys and be blissfully ignorant. <laughs>